Okie dokie. Right, what I've done now, <clears throat> all I've done, do we have these on? I can't remember. Well, <laughs> I've glued these on. Yeah, I think we had them on and they work quite straight, but I've put them right now. I've glued these on, um, the shelves. I've also used a crocodile uh, or crocodile clip and just put a little green pin in there and hung the north, south, east and west. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, we've got these bits now, is I'm going to put the reef at the, uh, um, what's I call it on here. So, you need to do it on the edge. Hope you can see this. Oh God, it's not very straight. I haven't got a straight, uh, steady hand. Look, it's gone over. It's gone over. And I'm just going to flip mine over like that. <laughs> just that it caught that... Um, <clears throat> um, the glue that was on the top. But I'm not worried about it at all. Right, from inside, just push the inside, okay? Like that. Now, I might need to... All you need to do with these pegs is you glue one side and then the other. And then what you do is you pop that in the middle. You could have one either side, to be honest. But I'm just, oops, it's nowhere near the middle fee. Come on. I'm going to take mine out and take the glue off. Just rub the glue off because it was in the wrong place. I didn't like that at all. Let me get that bit of glue off. Oops. Like that. I know you're not going to see because it's going to be covered, but I don't like to see bits and bobs of glue like that. <laughs> right, and we'll just take that off again and redo that. Pull the glue off it and redo it. Right, we say it. Pop your glue on. That's about the centre. Like that. <laughs> That's not quite the centre either, but it, it's near enough. I'm just showing you, like I said. So that gives you, like, that support to hold that. Now, I could have that further down, and I should have done, really. So it really all depends how wide you have these. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, slip this one on. Just put the uh, top one on again. I pop it on where I want it and then I pinch it down like that. Like that. And then you just slot in. the support which is gonna be a little bit awkward but is that in the middle more or less yes actually not bad so we just pop that we just try and do it that well it's not quite in the middle see if I can get that off maybe not no I can't and I, they see that will annoy me now so I'm gonna have to move that See if I can uh, take that off. Might have been better just to put the support on first and then just stuck the whole thing down. She's going to pick the glue off it. Which will usually a rub like that will do. Take the glue off the support. Yeah, to have glued the support on first may have been a better idea. I'm just going to see if I can snip. So that's a little bit... Not with them scissors, you won't, Fee. Use the right scissors, woman. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, 
So glue the support onto the card first. Right. Whoa, too much on that. And then we will pop that if we can get it right. Like that. Whoops. That's a little bit better. Like that. With the support. See? Like that. Yeah, and because I haven't... I cut that bit so it showed the... Um, clean chipboard where I cut it, so I've just put a bit of paint on that. But like I say... And there you go, we've got that so far. Now, what do we need to do next? The flourish, I think. Hopefully that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. It's coming along, isn't it? Look. Right, we'll move it out of the way for a minute and we're going to do the crown and the flourish. So I'm just going to clear this. Now, I did use more than one flourish last night and I had to take bits off here, there and everywhere. So, let me just see when I want the flourish. See where I've got to take them off. Um, I'm going to have that one there. Like that. So I don't actually want it. Um, let me just see. Let me just take that off there, I think. Like that. Because that's going to go under there. Like that. Yeah. And then this one on this side. What I'm doing is just showing you, I'm going to add that to there. And then we'll take, that one's above, but I want that one off. Sorry if my head's in the way, sorry. Snip that one off, because this is the best thing about these, you can alter them. What was I doing? Oh, what did I cut that for? Oh, that's it, because I want it there. So I'm having one there and one on that side like that, so it's slightly higher. Right, okie dokie. And now all we've got to do is to paint them. Now, I painted them once they were on. I glued them on and then painted them. Well, I'm not going to do that because that was silly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these. <clears throat> now, I used the green. Oh, I can't get into it. <laughs> Use the green. And all I did, I just popped a little bit on a palette like that. So I could just scrape it right off. Like that. Sap green, that is. And then I also had a little touch of... Uh, this is the lemon yellow. So I'm just going to open this one. Like that. Okie dokie, and then, um, now, I might as well just use the same paintbrush a minute, because we are painting it all, and I'm going to need my little one. Okay, so take the green, and just totally coat that. They're already edged, so you don't need to edge them. Okay, um, and then just leave that to rest a minute. And then take your yellow, and you're just flicking. Just to give them a, a touch of colour. There 
can tidy them up, just get it on first. Because don't forget, some of them will get hidden because of the flowers. And then, like you say, just go in and titivate them up. And just leave them like that. I wouldn't do too much with them at all. They're not going to be the focal point of your birdhouse. And anybody can do this. Not hard at all. I know people who don't paint say, oh, I can't do that. Well, you can. Anyone who watches my videos, don't take no for an answer. There's always a way of doing something. Like I say, just start it up, putting it on first. You need a bit of character to your leaves. You can spend more time doing them, you know, um, I'm just showing you. Okay, like that, that'll do. Fine, because not messing about with a leaf. Okay, and of course you need to uh, finish painting the bottom. And then we just dry them off. Move that out the way. Because you might need that again to fill out. Plus you'll have the back to do as well. So, what we're going to do, this was this one. We have to remember where we put it. Like so. And then we pop that in there just like that. Don't know if you've seen that. Sorry if you're not. Just pop that on like that. And it is far quicker and far easier to um, sort out the paint job first. Well, I didn't do that because I was building it and just changing it and whatever last night. So that's just me. It's the way I am. Um, I do prototype things sometimes and... And then I work out what I've got to do. Now, this one, I think we said. What did we say? That was going where? Oh, this was going below, wasn't it? Why have I got that? I had that on. Oh, I've put that on it wrong place, like a twit, I think. Right, so what we do is we're going to take that off. Because that one's in the way. Doesn't matter about that, we'll just paint that up. Let's get a touch of paint. Like that. I'm just in the middle of a tutorial. Right. Yeah, and that's going to go in there. So I need a little touch. of glue. I'm just going to try and pop that in place. 
like that. That's it, and you've got that up to now. Right, I'm just going to take a break because my daughter's just turned up. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.